We are now joined by Eddie Alvarez, the Underground King. Hi, Eddie. Thanks for joining us for this post fight interviews. We have some, we hope you're feeling better. We have some media here with questions, so we'll get right into it. The first question is from Nick Atkin from South China Morning Post. Nick, please go ahead. Uh, hey, Eddie. Um, I, I know that was uh, really frustrating experience to go through um you, you seem very emotional after the fight how, how are you feeling now you, you've had a bit of time to um just reflect on it just what are you going through at the moment uh i i went back to my room and i um i was able to uh i was able to watch um the clip of the fight and see everything and it was a bad call on the referee's uh side um the american media is in an uproar right now um and so are the American fans. And um, I'm going to respectfully ask them to, uh, to look back at the video and, um, and uh, reverse their call. You seem very upset as well. You wanted Yuri just to be safe and everything. But if, if he is fine, would you like to run this fight back as soon as possible? All, all that matters is Yuri's safety. That's it right now. Ted. That he's gonna be that he's gonna be okay. Um, when I when I go back, I mean, I'm inside the cage, so emotion, emotions run high, and um, the referee, um, you know, people make bad decisions when emotions run high, and uh, I think, um, you know, I think it was a bad call, and uh, I'm 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 mixed emotions right now. And after such a long time out, would you like to just get back in the in the circle in the cage as quickly as possible? Is is there a chance you could maybe fight on one on TNT four if there was an opponent, the right opponent? The right opponent, yeah. I felt like um, I just won the fight. I just beat the number two guy, and they gave me a loss. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know how to feel right now. Well, thank you very much, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Our next question is from Jesse Holland of MMA Mania. Jesse, please. Hey, Eddie. Obviously not the result you were looking for tonight, but um, at age 37, I, say, I have to say you probably looked as good as you've ever looked inside the cage. Uh, physically, you looked like you were dialed in. Can you talk a little bit about how you felt coming into this fight in your camp and, and where you're at in terms of uh, are you still in your prime? Or you think you've got a couple more years left? Yeah, I think uh, you guys, you know, that you guys are fascinated with my age. Um, I'm not. Um, I started the sport when I was 19 years old. I'm almost two decades in and I'm learning new stuff every day. I still love it. I'm still uh, infatuated with it. Um, I don't have the same feeling toward it that I had when I was 19, but that's normal. It's natural. Um, I'm still evolving, still getting better and, um, st still putting on performances and beating the top guys in the world. Um, I wish people would stop asking me about retirement and my age and all this other stuff. It's, I'm a young 37. Um, uh, and, and I have been ranked top five in the world since I was 20 years old and I'm still ranked top five in the world. So. Well, I think to be fair, Eddie, it, it keeps coming up because you don't typically see, uh, athletes at this stage of their career perform the way you do. So it's, uh, uh, certainly, uh, tonight you looked as good as you've ever looked. So, um, can we expect to see you back in the cage pretty shortly? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I, 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 I just want to sit down and talk to Juan. I just want to make sure they correct this. Um, you know, it's, it's not right. What happened is not right. And, um, after looking at the tape and after seeing the out the out pouring of media that's basically um saying that something went wrong in there today on the on the judging side um i just got mixed emotions about everything thank you thank you jesse next question from damon martin of mma fighting Hey, Eddie, uh, unfortunate circumstances tonight, obviously. I'm curious, we've seen instant replay become a part of fights, you know, more recently where you know, we're able to see decisions change in the moment. Do you kind of wish that had been the case tonight? And do you have confidence? Uh, we have seen Chaudhry, you know, make those decisions before. Do you have confidence that this will be overturned? I I don't see how it's not um, overturned. I, 
I don't look, I don't uh, discredit anyone or, you know, based, based on what happens inside that cage, referee, judging, all that. I mean, it's high emotions and you have to make decisions based on a split second. And I think uh, the replay and um, after, you know, everybody goes back and looks, it'll see everything was done righteously. And I won, I won fair and square. And um, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, uh, anger anyone or, or, you know, or climb up any, you know, any trees or, you know, I just, uh, I won tonight, you know, I won. And, um, I just hope that uh, they go back and look at it and they reverse what, you know, reverse their decision. I've made bad decisions in my past and um, I'll be a man and step up and say, you know, that it was wrong. But uh, tonight I won. And uh, I think the American media and uh, a lot of media um, know that I did and are, are pissed off about it. And, and, um, uh, I, I'm, I have mixed emotions. Damon, I respect you. I've always respected you. What do you, what do you think and feel? And I'll even respect you. If you tell me, we don't have the same opinion, but uh, I'd love to know how you feel. Uh, I don't think it was a, I don't think it was illegal shots. We're watching the replay personally uh, at worst, call it a no contest if he can't continue, but I didn't think they were illegal shots. You don't, you don't think they were illegal. I don't think they were illegal. I don't think they were illegal shots. I think they were legal shots. When you watch the replay, I thought you hit him on the ear. He turned his head and that's when and, it and, ended. And on the glove as well. The, the ear and the glove. Yeah. So I thought they were completely legal shots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, along with hundreds of other media right now in, in America are saying the same thing. So you can imagine how I feel. I'm being told that I not only not won, but I lost the fight, and that uh, you know, it's frustrating. I, I know this is a, a really hard question to answer, but I'm going to ask it anyways, Eddie. You know, considering that you do feel you won the fight. Uh, and I know somebody asked earlier about maybe running it back with Yuri, but considering the way, you know, the, it finished, if they do reverse this, do you think that in a perfect world, you should just move on and, and fight the winner of next week's fight between, uh, uh, between the champion and, and, and Timothy Nasiukin? Would that be kind of the perfect scenario? That's, that's all I, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for. Right. I'm here to make history. I said it, I said, but in the beginning when I joined one championship, I'm here to make history. Um, that's what I'm here for. Let me make my history. You know, I don't, these opponents are getting larger. Every time I come back, they're getting larger and larger. They're getting bigger and bigger. I don't even belong in this weight class. I'm fighting guys double my size. Give me, give me the, give me the champion. Give me the champion. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Damon. The next question is from Gay Anderson of Cage Side Press. Jay, please. Hey, are you able, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks uh, very much for time today. I know it's difficult circumstances. I just want to ask a follow up to something Damon mentioned about the the no contest. There seemed to be some confusion on the broadcast about that. They actually at one point said, despite the DQ, it would be a no contest. Did they tell you from the outset it was a loss, or did something change when they were speaking to you? The referee came to me. He said, "Don't worry, take a deep breath. I'll take care of it." Like basically saying. I, it's, it's not going to be, you know, nothing's going to, nothing funny is going to happen here. And I said, okay, you know, cause I, I said, no problem. You know, I was in the heat of the moment. So was he, but he, you know, he assured me that everything's going to be okay, but whatever, whoever made that, that call, it was a bad call and that's fine. That's totally fine. People make bad calls all the time in sports. Um, Emotions run high and fight for split seconds. Literally, you have split seconds to make a decision. No problem. Let's just, you know, let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. That's it. All right. Thanks very much, Eddie. Thank you, Dee. Leon Jennings from Asian Persuasion MMA with the next question, please. I, I'm just wondering if you've you spoken to Chat Tree or anyone else at one championship since the fight. I just, I gave Chachi a hug after, um, 
I, I, I was emotional and, um, I had seen Yuri go on the stretcher. I just right away. I visualized myself. It's hard for me not to, uh, my opponent is, is a, it's we're doing, we're in there together. We're there's not a him and I we're in there together and we're creating a show for the fans watching. But when the show is over, these fighters need to go back home to their families. And I got, I got four kids at home and I got a wife. I don't know who you already has at home, but he has someone at home hoping he gets home safe. So it's hard for me not to see him and think about myself. So that's, um, that's all that matters right now is that Yuri's Yuri's okay and and that he's going to be okay and that everybody can live on for another day. Cool. Thank you so much, Leon. Next question is from Dylan Balcom, my MMA News. Dylan, please. Hey there, Eddie. I appreciate the time. I'm just kind of curious because earlier in the scrum here, you were talking about how there's still that commensurate passion for fighting, like when you started versus now, but also the feeling is different. How would you say the feeling differs when you started versus where you're at now? It's, it's a relationship. You know, I met, you know, I met my wife when I was 15 years old and, um, and, uh, you know, you have butterflies, you want to talk to them every day. You want to hang out with them 24 seven, you can't get enough of them. And then, you know, and then you get married and I still love my wife. She's still my best friend, but you you know, you don't have the butterflies anymore. And uh, that's, and I tell everyone that's, that was my relationship with fighting. I had butterflies. I couldn't get enough of it. I obsessed about it. Did it day, night, afternoon. I wouldn't stop. And then after a while, you got to understand that you love this thing because all them feelings, them new feelings, they all fade. And then the only people who stick around are people who really love it. Really love it. They, they look at it as, in a deeper meaning than just punches and kicks. And that's, that's what I did. I married the, the sport of fighting and um, I married it and I committed to it and I loved it. Even when, even when it, I didn't have butterflies anymore. About it. Thanks for the time, Eddie. Thank you, Dylan. Next question from Conan Altatis of Conan Daily. Conan, please. Uh, hi, Eddie. I'm just curious. Uh, could you please tell us what was the game plan before you entered the cage today? Uh, you guys pretty much seen it. The, the game plan was to, uh, to uh, get Yuri to the floor and dominate him on the floor. And when he wasn't on, when he wasn't on the, on the mat, um, faint takedowns and, and go for punches. So I was going to establish my takedown, establish my dominance on the ground. And then if we did go up to the feet, I was going to fake the takedowns and go for the punches. And I was just going to keep mixing it up just like that until he got tired and quit. Um, and I, I just felt, I felt like I was in the zone today. I felt like I prepared um, for a long, long time. I, I got a lot of bouts canceled. I got two bouts canceled. Um, that were pushed back because of, because of, uh, a, a number of reasons, uh, uh, for, cause of Corona with uh, one championship. So my bouts were pushed back and pushed back again. And now I went on a year and a half now fighting. So, um, you know, the game plan went according to plan and I uh, put in a lot, a lot of camps. This wasn't one camp. This was three camps where I was getting, uh, my, uh, my fight canceled. So, um, I was prepared. I was more prepared than ever. Okay. Um, MMA fans and experts are now having a debate about the disqualification. What is, what is your message to, um, the MMA community as a whole? Just be honest. That's all. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't care what people's opinions are. As long as they're honest, if you, if you think it was a BQ, go online, and say I should be DQ'd. Go online, voice your opinion. Um, every your opinion matters. And if you don't think it was, go online, please, and let people know what happened today. Either way, I'm not mad at either person. 
I just want the truth. I just want the uh, whatever's honest. I'll take that. That's all I want. I don't want a handout. I don't want a freebie. I want the truth. So, yeah, last uh, question, please. Um, I'm sure you checked on you, uh, Yuri. Uh, could you please uh, give us the latest update on him? I won. I won the fight. Fair and square. I won the fight. It should be DQ. It was a mistake. Whoever made the final decision made a mistake. And um, I'm going to respectfully um, uh, try to try to get it reversed. That's all. And I don't I don't want to get in a fight with anyone. I don't want to be mad at anyone. I just want the, I want everything to go back and get looked at. And just I just the truth. That's it. I just want the truth. Thanks, Eddie. What, what do you think? What do you think personally? Uh, I'm not an expert, so I just respect uh, whatever the, the experts say. Okay. You know, there was a good uh, discussion between uh, Mitch, uh, Mitch Chilson and Rich Franklin, actually. And what did they say? Uh, they're kind of split um, about, but, but one, one thing they uh, agree on is about the intent of the fighter. And I'm sure um, you agree that it wasn't really your intention to hit the back of the head of Yuri. No, that was, uh, that could, that was completely clear. Yeah. That's without question. And, and that's what the, shots, the shots themselves, they're I just, I really hope, I really hope uh, someone goes back and looks because to take a loss when, when I should have won is very frustrating. Okay. Thanks, Abby. Thank you, Conan. Um, our next question is from James Marcelloni of Miami Herald. James, please. Okay, I think I got unmuted. Can you hear me okay, Eddie? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, thank you. Hey, listen, just with all this and, and everything going on, and it's so tough to do it right after a fight, are you and your team going to get together and tomorrow or sometime this week and just try to get with one of the one championship higher ups and just try to do something with this whole thing tonight. And whether it's getting this reversed or running it back. We're already on it. We're already texting and trying to, All right, Eddie. Trying, to trying to get this reversed. What do you think? Uh, I, I no, no. I think earlier someone said like no contest, no contest and run the fight back, do the fight again. Let's just do it again. No contest. But that's just my opinion. It's just one person's opinion. And then just go from there. Because you. you got the cloud, the cloud. Let's get rid of the cloud. But uh, but hey, man, just thank you for being here after all this. Thanks for answering all these things, man. And just keep doing your thing, all right? Thank you. All right, man. Thank you all. We have um, two more questions before we, we let you go, Eddie. Um, Andrew Fagli, can you please uh, ask your question? Thank you. Yeah, uh, Eddie, uh, you fought at a high level. Uh, Andrew Fagley from the Nightline Sports Network, by the way. Uh, you fought at a really high level for a really long time in multiple organizations. Have you ever had anything like this happen before? And were you surprised? Did you get any verbal warning from the referee at all that something crazy was going on like that? The referee said, watch the back of the head. And I said, okay, no problem. Why he said, watch the back of the head. But the punches I were throwing, one were hitting him in the hand. Some of them were hitting him in the neck. And then most of them were hitting him in the hand and then in the ear. And I was putting them in. So the punches were legal. This is this is a it was a bad decision. And that's fine. I'm totally fine with a bad decision. Just let's look at it back, let's reverse it and not. You know, it was done kind of rash. It was done really rash. And um, I just think if we make it right, um, I think a lot of a lot of people are angry and not excluding myself. There's a lot of uh, media in America right now that's really angry about what went on. And um, just let's look at it back. Everyone makes mistakes. I, I, I make mistakes. Um, I'm not I'm not free of any any. Uh, mistakes i've made them too in my past and uh let's just let's make it right that's all that's all has anything crazy like this ever happened to you before in a match i mean I, I i don't know that i've ever seen i've watched a lot of fights and i don't know that i've ever seen anything like this happen where it was it was just so weird 
Yeah, it was it was really weird because they the fight just let kept going on. If if I was punching him back in the head, then you stand it up, right? And I get a pointer, or you don't let me knock the guy out. I'm not. I knocked. The, I knocked him out. Like he turned his head, and they just let me keep hammer fists and went, stand it up. If, if there's illegal shots going on, stand the fight up. One Take more thing. Do you think that he? Do you think that he intentionally turned his head? So. You know, I mean, was that? I don't know. I don't know. But that's, that's not intelligently defend yourself, right? Yeah. I mean, I agree. We all we all have an obligation to intelligently defend ourselves. That's not intelligently defend yourself. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Andrew. One last question from David Castillo, Rusty Cage MMA. David, please, with your question. Thank you. Hey, Eddie. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, how's it going? Dave from Rusty Cage. So, Eddie, you're a big veteran of the sport. You've gone through all the highs and lows. Um, does a DQ sometimes feel a bit worse than a loss because it's uh, an unresolved issue? I think someone said the cloud. Not, not, this one in particular is, you know, it's just, there's something not right about it. So, um, yeah, it doesn't, this one. I mean, not all DQs, you know, not all DQs. Some DQs make sense, you know, it makes total sense. You can see a guy's intent. You can see um, how things were done. You say it was done maliciously or, you know, or it was blatant. Um, th these were, this was a clean fight. This was a win. This was a clean fight and it was a win. It was not a disqualification and, um, I just want them to make it right so bad. Um, I, I go back, I watch the footage, and then I'm seeing an outpouring of media everywhere. Um, angry, like really angry. Sure. Well, thank you so much for the time, Eddie, and thank you for handling this with such class and taking the time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, David, and thanks, Eddie, um, for joining us, really. Um, we're really sorry about what happened, and please... Uh, Take a good rest, and we hope to see you back real soon. Yeah, if yeah. you guys, if you guys can all say a prayer um, and keep your in your prayer to make sure everything's okay. Um, and yeah. um, thank you, thank you for your questions. Thank you, Andy.